National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hey there, Dr. Jonathan Beatty, naturopathic doctor and a health expert here at nationalnutrition.ca. Today we're going to talk about the most common nosocomial infection in North America. Uh, it's something called C. difficile or Clostridium difficile. Uh, what a nosocomial infection is, it's, it's a hospital acquired infection. So we often have outbreaks. I'm not sure 100% why this happens to Quebec every year, but poor Quebec seems to be hit more than any other province. Um, and it's again a very severe infection of the intestines by this bug called Clostridium difficile. And what it does is it actually causes a severe diarrhea. And that can be to a susceptible population quite deadly because it can induce a severe dehydration, which can then lead to heart attack and death. So this is why it is actually, you know, although we talk about diarrhea and some people may giggle about it, it's a very severe and life-threatening infection. That being said, just because it's the most common and, and its name is misleading because C. difficile, difficile literally means difficult as if it's difficult to treat, but it doesn't have to be. There's in fact been shown a number of therapies that can be very effective at treating C. difficile. Uh, first thing you want to do, prevent it. Number one thing, it is what we call a fecally orally translated disease, which is basically when you come into contact with fecal matter and you ingest it in any which way that, that's contaminated with C. difficile, that will increase your risk of developing C. difficile. So of course, barriers, washing your hands, making sure any you know, medical tools have been sterilized. If you're not sure, ask them to just clean it in front of you. You know, it's an easy way to ensure that uh, you're not going to contract the disease or, you know, make sure that your nurse, when they come to visit you, you know, washes their hands before they do any exams and that can help reduce the transmission of this condition. If you do, however, end up contracting Clostridium difficile or C. difficile, there's a couple things you can do to combat it. Number one, I mean, you're probably going to be in the hospital anyway, but electrolytes. The biggest problem with C. difficile is the diarrhea, which causes dehydration. So one of the techniques we use to treat it is actually ensuring adequate intake of electrolytes, which is, you know, your sodium, your chloride, your potassium. Uh, and these things are there to actually help balance out our blood volume. So making sure you intake an electrolyte drink can be very effective. You know, if you're not in a hospital, and you think you've developed it or, or you were just in hospital and you've started to develop this diarrhea, things like coconut uh, water are a very great source of electrolytes and can help mitigate the symptoms while you get medical attention. Now, in order to treat the infection, there's been a couple of antibiotics uh, that have been shown to be really effective against it. These are golden seal or uh, hydrastis canadensis. It's a very effective root, very potent antibiotic. Garlic, good old garlic contains a compound called allium or allicin, and allicin is the active form. This compound is very potent against Clostridium difficile. And last but not least, not the olive fruit, but the olive leaf has actually been shown uh, to be able to kill the Clostridium difficile bug. So, you know, any of these herbal antibiotics or ideally a combination of all three will give you a good chance at helping defeat this bug. Now, in addition to the actual antibiotic, you can also try and outcompete it. So what we do is we actually use, basically you use a probiotic yeast called Saccharomyces boulardii in order to kill the Clostridium difficile. The reason for this is the Saccharomyces boulardii, uh, often referred to as Saccha Sac B or Saccharomyces B, it actually produces a chemical that will kill the Clostridium difficile bug. So it outcompetes it. So what it does is you actually can take in this probiotic containing Saccharomyces boulardii and it will actually go in, this, this yeast will go in and fight the infection for you. And you can even combine it, although not at the same time, with the um, garlic, with the olive leaf and with the golden seal. The reason I don't recommend combining them at the same time is, you know, garlic, olive leaf and golden seal, they're potent antibiotics. They may actually kill the Saccharomyces boulardii. So typically what I would recommend is start your day with Saccharomyces boulardii, 
do some of the herbal antibiotics throughout the day, and then end your day again, re-inoculating yourself with that potent Saccharomyces boulardii to help get rid of the Clostridium difficile or the C. diff infection. So if you do have it, make sure you seek medical attention just to ensure you can get adequate hydration and prevent some of the serious complications of a C. diff infection. Uh, but there are a number of natural therapies that you can utilize to help eliminate that infection faster. So if you know anybody who's contracted this disease or you have it yourself, uh, you know, make sure to uh, heed the words I've spoken and check out more of our natural health videos, subscribe, and if you have any questions, please post them below. And uh, always remember, knowledge is health.